So this is going to be the most impromptu mead video we've ever done. Uh, we had some good news this week. We wanted to celebrate, figured we'd get a bottle of mead. Went to the one liquor store, just figured we'd grab a bottle of Camelot. And then oddly enough, I was like, I think I'll grab a, a can of Three Sheeps beer. Went over to that area, turned around, and I see this bottle, this one with the shield made on it. And I pick it up, and I'm like, I wonder what that is, because, ooh, Vikings. Two things that are getting me to do that, Vikings and dinosaurs. And I see on here, Oak and Thunder Warhammer Crafted Artisan Meadery, Apple Mead with Blueberry. I'm like, I've never heard of this place. I've never heard of these. They had three of them. Couldn't decide. Figured what the hell it splurged. Let's swap by all three. So we're going to go ahead. We bought all three. We're trying all three, kind of like we did with the Hidden Legends one, three mm -hmm. at once. But there's really, I don't even know if we're going to be able to recork these, even with our, our other corks. So we figure we're just planning on drinking these tonight. Yep. Um, so. But our big news, before we get to the mead, uh, Roz got a job. Yes. That uh, you all know about all the bullshit we've been through over the past year with her getting hurt and now being on disability and all this. Uh, we found, uh, got some help trying to get her uh, a company that like helps disabled people get jobs. And it, it wasn't with them, but she basically got a job Working. That worked with the, with them. So yeah. all the crap she's been through this last year, she's actually going to she, excuse me, she's going to be able to use that, uh, put that experience to help other people who are in similar situations. So it's really exciting. Yes, so. I'm super excited. I start this Monday, and I'm she's psyched. Yeah, I really <laughs> am. Uh, it's it's such an experience already, and I can't wait for it. I'm proud of you. Hmm. And we are also <laughs> celebrating my golden birthday this week because that happens on Tuesday. I thought 25 was the golden. No, 26. So what's 25? So. A quarter of a century. No. So for a golden birthday to happen, a golden birthday is when you turn the same age as your birth date. Well, mine would have been my 16th, and that's just blue, but <laughs> yeah, I, I don't so. remember it. I, I think I probably got yet another guitar, and it was probably awesome. <laughs> so for me, it's 26. <laughs> so, so before we get to this, though, uh, while we're getting things set up, I went ahead and looked up uh, this Crafted Artisan Meadery. That's actually their name, Crafted Artisan Meadery. They're out of Ohio, and I'm looking through on their website, and had this big graphic that had, like, all the different label art, and I saw what I thought was Conan. And you all know we're both big Robert E. Howard fans. We spent all the time playing Conan Exiles. We have a dog named after Solomon Cain. Uh, so <laughs> clicking through it, I see it's one of their limited editions. It's currently available. Like I'm going to try whatever I can to get it and get a review of this for the channel. Uh, but it was actually called Conan the Strawberrian. And in their description for it, uh, for anybody who remembers back when I was doing game reviews, I used that little bit from, from the Conan movie. They actually had that, but it had uh, crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the shortcake. And I was like, we have to get, like, if we have to drive to Ohio to the meadery to get a bottle of this, I will do it at this point. Um, but before we get right into this, uh, last video we did, uh, Mark from Hidden Legends had made a comment, like, you guys need drinking horns. And I told him, well, we have drinking horns. We just don't use them for this because we want you to be able to see what the mead looks like. So, drinking horn number one. Drinking hard number two. <laughs> but we do have some little glasses out here uh, that, so you'll be able to see it. So which one do you want to start with? I guess let me read these off real quick. We have a strawberry. A strawberry honey badgerita, which is a strawberry lime, blood orange, and salt. Which is funny because we're looking at the Solu's honey badger anyway. Yep. And we got that and this one. That'll, this, uh... It just says Oak and Thunder Warhammer, Apple apple and Blueberry. I think I'm going to like that. You know how I like blueberry mead. And this one is Peanut Butter Bananas Fosters Forever, made with banana, peanuts, and spices added. Wow. Before so. we get to it, we did. We were joking about how we wanted to keep doing more and more mead, mead videos, and we're like, we need some kind of a funny grading scale. So we came up with one that basically has five tiers. The highest is going to be the hive. The whole hive can like it. Second highest is it's the queen. Third's the workers or the drones. And the four, I guess it's four, not five. And the fourth one is it didn't even register. And I don't think we've had one yet that we 
call that. So yeah. we figured it'd be fun to have a stupid little ranking system. <laughs> and who wants five stars when you're dealing with honey? So you can pick which one we're going with first. Mm. Let's go with the one that caught your eye first. Okay. The apple and blueberry. We even have our mead, merriment, whatever the heck I named that mix in the background. I think it's going to be kind of a standard thing when we do this. We like to have something in the background and that's not getting us any copyright strikes. And uh, we, we did it for mead, so. Mead, melody, okay. and merriment, that was what it was called. Ooh, I get to do the honors? Yes, you do. I'm going to You're start. just going to open them all? Okay. Yep. Let me... I'll smell it when it's in the glass and it actually has some time to breathe. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that I was, is I was expecting pretty. more of a, a darker, almost like a blue or even like a dark red, but that's like a, a pink. I think I spilled some of it, but that's okay. Yeah, you did. That's why we have the cloth. So let's get a nice look. This is this is the apple and blueberry. The, um, the actual name was the Ocean Thunder Warhammer. There's the bottle. Uh, yeah, we're not going to read all the crap on the back of this. This one actually has a, a passage from the saga of the Vol songs. I appreciate that. So let me get up closer here, and this is what it looks like. You ready? Ready. Oh, I like that. So do I. That's... Oh, wow. It actually has a bit like that carbonated sparkling mm -hmm. meat taste to it, but it's not... Most of the sparkling ones, I, like, I don't care for. It's just too much bubbly. This is, like, perfect. It just gives it that little bit of bite. It does. Oh. I think we're going to enjoy these. I, um, I hate chugging them, but I do need the glass. <sighs> so what one are we going to do next? I don't know, but whichever one we're doing next, I'm pouring. I <laughs> see. I got quite the little uh, puddle there. I'm I'm old. Sometimes I can't control that. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with the strawberry honey badgerita. All right. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Oh wow! It's like a gold with like this little hint of red to it. Uh, for everybody at home to take a look at. If I can get it so that my hand's not in the way. It actually doesn't look too different from it's, the first one. It's darker. It's oh, but it has a more robust smell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've become one of those pretentious like wine people. It's more robust. We're not getting quite there yet. Yeah, no. It's got that dark honey color like that Hidden Legends dark mead that we tried. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, wow. just as good. Wow. How do you eat, how do you describe something like this? I mean, I, it's definitely not chewy. <laughs> no, no, thank you, Niles. <laughs> it is not chewy. I mean, it definitely has that nice strawberry start, but then it hits you into a honey, and then. And then you kind of get the lime. Then you kind of get the lime with that little bit of a salt. Yeah. And I like how they, how they, they worded here. Mead with strawberry, lime, blood orange, and salted. That's, it actually hits kind of like that. Yeah, it, it hits in that order almost. That's, like that, that, would be, that would be the best way to describe whoever it. Whoever labeled that did an excellent job. They really did. Now when I just chugged it like that, I, that lime really hit. That was almost like when you take the Corona and you put the lime in it. Mm-hmm. Or like a nice salted margarita. Like those ones you made last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. That's probably if you, if you like a like a lime margarita, this would actually be a really good good choice for you. Okay. Last one. This is that bananas Foster's one. Yeah, and this, it's this super is going to be interesting. Clear. Yeah, I can't see because of how she's pouring it, but... Oh, wow, yeah, no, that almost looks like a, a like a pale ale. Mm. I'm going to have to wash this cloth now. 
I apologize for nothing. We're going to the laundromat tomorrow morning. <laughs> or afternoon. Yeah, no, that's nice and clear. That's like a traditional meat almost. Oh my god, it smells straight up like peanuts. It, it smells like peanut butter or banana. Like. Yeah, no, if you are allergic to peanuts, definitely stay <laughs> away from this that, one. That has one of the strongest smells we've had of any of them. Yeah. Definitely Whoa. peanut butter and banana. It tastes oh. like a good peanut butter so, banana So where the sandwich. first two really hit, like, as it's hitting your tongue, this one was a bit more of an aftertaste to it. But yeah. That's, that's good. That's a good one to sip on, whereas the other two you could just drink straight. Yeah. No. I think I think we're going to have a very good night tonight. We're good. How much alcohol is it? This has got to be like a five or a six, I think. Six. On okay. that one. So we won't get that plastered. Not not like the Hidden Legends night. Six on that one. <laughs> that one was the same. Okay. So, yeah. No. So, yeah. Uh, we've only tried these three from the uh, Crafted Artisan Meadery, but uh, it seems to me so far you couldn't go wrong with these. Uh, I if, if, would definitely buy if more from I them. I were to rate them, I would probably give the Warhammer would be the queen, and I would probably rate the other two as both workers would be mine. I'm willing to go and give them all queens, honestly. Uh, I would definitely say that this one's probably my least favorite. And that's the, the one I like the most. Yeah, no, I, I'm i really partial to these two. These two kind of hit me a little more differently. I, I will say, like, if I had to, to class them, like, the, the banana would probably be my least favorite. But it's not by much. Mm -hmm. and, and these two are almost tied, but I like the way the, the this one, the Warhammer. Yeah, I like no, the way that hits me they, more. They are but all it is, so close to It's high. close. I, I, like, yeah, I would, I would, these two would be almost parallel. So we're, we're definitely going to have to try out more from these. And uh, so uh, this one's for you, Mark. Thanks again for helping us out in that video. <laughs> I'm not going to slam this on the ground and scream, I'll have another. Not this time? Not, not with some breakable. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll link their website in the description. Yep. Definitely worth checking out and worth your time. Oh, thanks yeah. Thanks again.